Hi students, welcome to another video of Smartly Learn. In this video, we are going to see how to find the solution for the numerical in exercise 2.1. Now let's see the sum. It says the graphs of y is equal to p of x are given for some polynomials p of x. Find the number of zeros in each case. See, they're asking for the count of zeros in each of these cases. Now let's take the first numerical. So if you see the graph, the graphs look like this. So all you have to do is count the number of places where this curve hits the x-axis. In this example, there is exactly one point this curve hits the x-axis. Therefore, this curve has exactly one zero of the polynomial. Now, let's take another figure. In this figure, let's count the number of places the curve hits the x-axis. You see this point, second point, and third point. So, there are three points through the x-axis this line passes through. Therefore, this particular polynomial P of X has exactly three zeros. Now, let's take another example. In this case, the curve hits the x-axis at exactly two points, one here and one here. So, this shows that this particular P of X has exactly two zeros of the polynomial. Now, let us take another input function. See, let's count the number of places where this curve hits the x-axis. So here, one, two, three, and four places. So there are four places where the curve passes through the x-axis. Therefore, there are four zeros for this particular P of x. Now let's take one more case. So in this case, let's see, there is one point two point and three point that this curve hits the x-axis. So this means this particular P of x has exactly three zeros of the polynomial. Now let us take the last case. In this case, if you see, this is the line, but it never passes through the x-axis. Because it, this line does not pass through x-axis, there are no point of intersection for this curve with the line, right? With x-axis. Therefore, this particular P of x has no real zeros. Okay? So, in this case, the count of zeros, there is nil. Okay? In the next video, we will see about solutions from exercise 2.2 in NCRT class 10. Please extend your support to me by subscribing to my channel Smartly Learn. You can also reach out to me through my website www.smartlylearn.in for more practice worksheets. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.